Bob Carr Scadden with Dan Mullen. I guess uh, for those of who maybe don't know you, I would imagine it's very few watching this. <laughs> but uh, obviously, uh, y'all got to visit St. Jude this morning. I know that, that's um, uh, a visit that has a lot of emotions, uh, good and bad. But uh, uh, nice for y'all to be able to put some smiles on faces. Well, that's what it's all about. You know, I mean, we're very fortunate. We come out and we play the game of football. Our guys, I mean, I get to coach football, do what I love. Our players play the game and do what they love. And, um, and, and we're put in a position where, you know, we can go over uh, and, and meet with, with a lot of young people that obviously are, uh, you know, when you go meet them that are tougher and probably than all our kids are out here on the field, and, and the families and what they go through. And the opportunity to, by just showing up, by, by shaking hands, signing autographs, taking pictures, that a family that's going through such tough times uh, that you can put a smile on their face, if only for a couple minutes even. Uh, is something special and, and is something that I'm blessed that, that we're able to do. Uh, I have noticed in this visit, uh, ringing bells for Salvation Army, your guys really seem to enjoy it. I mean, they genuinely, they have fun. It seems like it's important to them. Well, I think our, our guys really enjoy giving back. I, I, our guys, I think, you know, I mean, they're very grateful for what they have here. They have a great opportunity to get an education, uh, to play football in the SEC, and, they, you know, they get taken care of very well, you know, by doing that. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, they know there's a lot of people that are out there that are less fortunate than they, they are, and, uh, and, and they have the opportunity to go give back and make a difference. It's something we really want our guys in our program to learn and understand. Coach, appreciate you. I'd love to catch up with you. Thank you. They were the Jay Hughes, junior safety from Mississippi State. I, obviously, you got to visit the hospital today. These kind of things, obviously, you know, we talk about it. They go beyond sports. What does something like this mean to you, being able to, to visit kids? Uh, well, you know, actually, it was, it was, it was an eye-opening experience. Um, it was really sad, but it was I was really excited to go. You know, uh, you know, he explained to us that you know they deal with most of the kids that have cancer, mm -hmm. and so you know you you really don't know who's gonna be here one day, you don't know who's gonna be here the next. So, you know, I just count my blessings. Being able to give high fives, it, it seemed like there were a, a lot of smiles. Going. I mean, yeah. do, do you feel like it was? You know, a worthwhile investment, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited that I, I went. When I first heard St. Jude, I was like, yeah, because, I, you know, I always see St. Jude on, on TV, but I've I never experienced it. You know, I actually went to a St. Jude hospital. Before. You know, maybe that's a good thing. So, um, I really enjoy myself. I think the kids enjoy us, too. Well, good. Yeah, Jay, I'm glad you got to go, and I uh, appreciate you talking yes, to us. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Dak Prescott, sophomore quarterback of Mississippi State. Dak, can we talk about St. Jude? I'm going to take you back like a week ago. Whenever it was, you were ringing the bells for Salvation Army. Uh, I love what you say. Some things are bigger than football. I feel like this morning at St. Jude, that was one of those times that you talked about. Uh, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of things bigger than football. And anytime you get a chance to go see people that are fighting for their lives, and uh, every day they got to get up and battle a pain that's uh, inside and internal. Uh, that's definitely bigger than football. It's definitely more pain than we go through, and it's just uh, it's, it's amazing to be able to go out there and put a smile on their face and um, help those and help those kids make their days, and they made mine. Yeah, one of the things you mentioned, what Coach Mullen talked about, it's a little bittersweet in that it, it's it makes you sad to be a part of it, and also really happy to bring that joy to them. But it seems like something you guys genuinely enjoy doing and like being a part of. Oh, uh, definitely. I mean, when I was little, and any time you know, some. Uh, a uh, college football player and athlete had a chance to come and speak to me. I mean, it just it blew me away and made my day. So, I mean, to give that same feeling to a kid or somebody who's in need of that or in need of fighting their life, I mean, it's amazing. It's, it's great. Isn't that a weird thing for you to be, like, when you think about those kids, when you were a kid, you look at these guys, they're heroes. Yeah. Now you're one of those guys with this, like, larger-than-life football player. and, and you know, It's, like, it's going to be an odd feeling. Uh, it's, it's it's cool. I mean, it's uh, it's what I've worked for. It's what I've always wanted to be. I mean, I saw those guys, and they gave me inspiration to be a college uh, athlete. So, I mean, it's just a dream come true to be able to do this and uh, be able to go help the kids out. All right, Dad, I want you to get back to it. Appreciate you stopping. Appreciate you, Bobby C.